international youth work, international encounters, voluntary services, exchange measures and educational events is now a core part of youth work in Germany and Europe. Traveling within the borders of our country and abroad influences and shapes our personality and enriches our experiences. Each of us is different, with a different mindset, past experiences and perceptions of society and the world around us. In this video, we want to share with you the positive things you can encounter while attending any type of international youth work encounter. In our Dare to Care video, you will see how only one experience can shape your private and professional development and even become part of your everyday life. In this video, we will introduce you to Kerim. When I heard for the first time about the possibility of joining a youth exchange, I was quite skeptical, I must say, because firstly I thought this is nothing for me. It was also quite strange communicated to me and I told why certain kind of people are meeting in a certain place and discussing something. But actually when I digged a bit uh, into the topic of the youth exchange back at the time and when I started researching about this kind of possibilities which young people all around Europe actually had, uh, I realized that this could also be a really big possibility for me and quite a big chance actually to maybe improve and change myself as a person. And for the first time I went for a youth exchange when I was 14 years old. I was in going to Greece. It was a quite hard decision I must say because I also realized that I need to exit my comfort zone and somehow I need to exit everything what I used to live for at that time. I needed to go to a different country, I needed to go abroad on my own and I needed to spend a week full with strange people which I haven't known at that time. Which actually was quite surprising for me, it was quite challenging and it was also really hard somehow to push myself to these boundaries and somehow decide actually to go to Greece. And the biggest takeout which I have back from that time was that um, I needed to do that. For me, I needed for the first time to exit my comfort zone and actually see who I am as a person. And I also wanted to use this kind of opportunity to meet young people from all around Europe which were coming to that youth event uh, taking place back at that time in Greece. We actually had the possibility to talk about human rights, discrimination in our societies, but also about uh, youth leadership and youth participation. And this was actually something what was really interesting for me because I always was watching to other young people in my community how they actually got engaged in social projects and how they were actually trying to solve certain kind of problems in our community in which I was living back at that time. And after the youth exchange in Greece, uh, for the first time actually I realized uh, that um, it's really important that I also step into the community and I also become a leader and try with other young people but also the citizens from the community to actually resolve and solve certain kind of issues which were present back at that time in my community. If I would look back uh, to this first youth exchange, everything what I can say is that I'm quite proud of myself that I've taken this decision and that for the first time when I was 14 years old, I exited fully my comfort zone, I packed my suitcase and I really went into an unknown direction. That was the feeling which I had. But after arriving to Greece, what I realized actually was that I was not the only one. There were also around 50 young people from all around Europe coming with the same fears which I had. And that made me realize actually that we share much more in our life than fears. I shared with that young people the passion actually to learn about human rights, to learn about the, the ways how we can actually work against discrimination and polarization in our communities, but also actually how to engage and how to become leaders. After returning back from Greece, I started being social active in my community, but it also motivated me to look for other youth exchanges and also other possibilities for me to go abroad and to meet other young people. 
So throughout the entire high school, actually, I was going to different kind of uh, events all around Europe. And even the people in my school were calling me the ambassador of the school because I was traveling so much, actually. Uh, once I finished high school, uh, I decided actually to take my first professional contract in an organization which was directly organizing youth exchanges. And now, I mean 12 years later of working professionally in the field of organization of youth events, I really must say that I'm so proud that I have taken this path in my life and that this first decision which I made actually shaped and changed my life privately but also professionally. Youth exchanges are part of my life, everyday life. Uh, I'm organizing actually youth exchanges all around Europe for youngsters from Europe but also all around the world. What keeps me motivated to do it is actually to give this kind of same chance which I had back at that time to other young people because I, I really think that it's important that young people actually for the first time as I did at that time exit their comfort zone, have the possibility to travel abroad, have the possibility to meet other peers and see how actually their thoughts but also their maybe potential problems uh, which they think that they have are actually is something what we have with all other youngsters in common. And uh, this is actually something what I think that is really important, especially nowadays in Europe, but also in the world. Our societies are facing more and more problems. And as a person who is involved into youth exchanges and exchanges of people, I really believe that putting people together to a certain place and discussing this issue is the best what we can do in the processes of resolving these issues. And my biggest motivation and something what I'm going to do until end of my life, I assume, is actually work with young people and give them this possibility which I had because I'm really grateful to the people who were my organizers of my first youth exchange and the trainers who gave me the skills and gave me this kind of possibility. So everything what I'm trying nowadays to do is actually to organize much more youth exchanges, uh, even sometimes it's too much, but I love doing it because I want to give to more and more young people actually the possibility. And since I'm in charge of this, what I'm doing, and I can say that I organized youth exchanges for over 6,000 young people from all around Europe. And I'm really happy that they have taken this possibility, that they have joined the projects which I organized. And I'm pretty sure that they live actually the values and the skills and the experience which have shaped them for the first time. Because also many of the students which got once to the youth exchange got engaged much more as I did. And this is something actually what really makes me happy. My message to you would be that there are so many possibilities outside waiting for you. I kindly ask you to consider leaving your comfort zone and joining a youth exchange. I hope that this experience and this consideration is gonna change you as it's changed me and as it's changing many youngsters all around Europe. Life is more than what we learn in school or what our parents and teachers teach us. You need to invite life to inspire you. And what is a better way to do that than to learn new things with peers from different countries? There is no better way of getting to know the world or yourself than by opening yourself up to new experiences, new people and new cultures. Europe, Europe is a wonderful place with many complexities. A great way of expanding your own horizons can be by taking part in international youth events and by learning more about different topics that interest you and those you know nothing about but which spark your curiosity.